everyone, welcome here, Datorg FCB, and welcome back to the channel here today, guys. And although the Euros is now underway, believe me, the videos will still be continuing here. There's still Barca news that we can discuss, and plenty from the tournament that will be relevant to our club. And today we do have plenty of German players on the agenda after their thumping victory over Scotland last night. Ilkay Gundogan, Florian Wirtz, and Jamal Musiala are all discussed in today's video along with plenty more Barca news for all of you guys. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And let's do this. Because indeed, guys, speaking here of the Euros, I have actually come up with a group chat for the tournament there in collaboration with Bunches. And I would absolutely love as many of you here as possible to be involved on that chat. I joined you guys live yesterday for Germany versus Scotland. And we did have a correct first goal scorer prediction in there. And I'm going to be looking for plenty more predictions from you guys as the tournament goes on. I'm going to be there today for Spain versus Croatia. So please do follow the link down below. That'll take you straight to the group chat. It is free to join, free to download, and I would love to see all of you guys there to create a summer festival of football feeling. I'm really excited as well for Copa America too. But if we do indeed kick off here with the Barca news, starting with Noah Davic, because indeed I mentioned this young man, really talented German, attacking midfield player, only 17 years old, been playing there at Barca Athletic. And I mentioned in the video of players there that I felt the Hansi Flick could really improve, or at least there that Darvic would get more of an opportunity under the leadership there of Flick, who will know him a bit more and would certainly have more of a role for him in his team. And today it's interesting, because build in Germany, pretty reliable source there, they say that Flick wants to bring Noah Darvic on pre-season with the first team. He does actually want to have a look at him, he believes in him a lot, sees him there as a player who has a lot of potential, and Darvic looks Looks like he's going to be involved in preseason, and what a moment there for him. Like I say, under Xavi, they didn't feel as though there was a place for him in the team, the kind of midfielder that he is, but under Flick is a different story, and he is going to get an opportunity there. Our own talented German attacking player. We're going to be talking about lots of those here today, but I also do want to talk to you guys here about Vitor Roque, because big news coming this week, guys, and I thought it was great news, actually, that Vitor Roque has decided there to cut short his vacation to start preparing already for the brand new season at Barca and he's actually been at the club there working on his own training on his own since Monday with a physical trainer and a recovery specialist there he's going through a number of drills he's doing everything that he possibly can to be in perfect shape all ready to start that new season and I'll tell you one thing Hansi Flick will love this attitude and that is absolutely brilliant there from Vitor Roque to say you know what last season didn't really work out for me lots of things didn't quite go my way but he's not sat there feeling sorry for himself he's not there sat there angry at the club he is determined he is ready to show what he can do and Flick will really really appreciate that and there are more reports coming out this morning just confirming there that Flick has told the club he wants to keep Roque he wants to have a really good look at him in pre-season as well Roque clearly motivated and energised by that. But do remember, guys, that as of this moment... Roque is still not registered as a Barca player for next season. When he signed in January, he was only registered for six months of the season because of that Gavi injury. We were able to replace the injured Gavi with Roque only for last season. So this summer now, Barca will need to fully register his contract in its own right. And that is something the club are currently working on. And of course, when you're talking there about registrations, well, one player who could certainly help a lot of our problems is uh, Clemon Long. Now, this is somebody that we always have to talk about every summer transfer window. The club very, very anxious yet again to shift Longley, coming back from Villa, of course, who do not want to sign him permanently. Now, Longley, as we all know, has a contract until 2026, one of the highest earners at the club. 16 million, yet yeah, 16 million. I don't want to keep saying that number. 16 million for Clement Longley. Okay, calm down, calm down. Everybody remain calm. But 
we're still trying to get rid of him. Apparently Barca there have again offered him the letter of freedom, which would let him walk away from the club and basically accept any offer he wanted to. He has rejected that. He wants to stay true to his contract at the club. I mean, of course he does. The guy is on an unbelievable deal. But apparently Longley is in no rush right now to accept any offers coming in. He's going to wait and see how things develop. And he believes as the transfer window goes on, he will get better offers coming his way from elsewhere. So Longley is not saying, I'm going to stay. You know, I'm going to drag my heels. I want to stay at the club. I think he does understand, look, I've got to go somewhere else. I've got to go somewhere else. I want to play. But he is waiting and not in any rush to jump at an opportunity right early here in the window. So hopefully as time goes on, a club will come in, take Longley off our hands, and they will already be my new favourite team. Villu guys, we do indeed have to move on. Start talking here about Ilkay Gundogan. Because I've got to say, guys, that Germany-Scotland game last night, it was an interesting one for many reasons. But one of the worst moments of it by far was the tackle on Gundogan. And I absolutely, oh, my heart was in my mouth when I saw that tackle there, because that was fully deserving, by the way, clearly, of a red card. Shocking challenge. And I thought, of course this has to be on a Barca player. You know, you don't want it to happen to anybody, but of all the players for it to happen to, of course it's a Barca player with that absolute horror tackle. But luckily, Gundogan was indeed able to just walk away from that. Very, very lucky indeed. But I just want to say, what a game he had there in Germany's midfield. Lots of people talk right now about Tony Kroos and rightly so he played very very well as well he's had a fantastic season as Tony Kroos but Gundogan just showcasing really just highlighting everything that he's got in his locker and I think they're that second goal for Germany that for me is exactly where we need Gundogan to be that's the exact kind of position there that you want him just picking up the ball you know just with the ability to turn with the ability there to just open up the field because with Gundogan he's got such good awareness you know he's got such good intelligence so much experience of course about his game and we saw it on plenty of occasions last season too that ability to pick the right pass at the right time his timing is absolutely immaculate and what Germany had of course was real pacing behind their players constantly making runs into the spaces and the pass from Gundogan to pick them out absolutely wonderful and I think we do need to move on to talk about some of those Germany attackers there because there are plenty of real Barca links to them and let's start here with the fact there is real optimism within the club guys that by next summer there the summer of 2025, Barca believe they'll be back in the position to make a big signing. They believe they will have the capabilities in 2025 to spend money, to spend big on a player if they need to, with FFP margin improving and the financial situation slowly but surely easing around the club. And well, one name certainly that took centre stage last night, Jamal Musiala. He was absolutely outstanding, I thought, for Germany. And I love watching Musiala, I've got to say, you know, I love the way that he carries the ball, the elegance of which he plays, and I think he's one of the most aesthetically pleasing players in the game today. That natural flair about him, you know, the unpredictability about his game makes him a really, really exciting player. And I think in the modern game, guys, gotta be honest, I think these kinds of players, they're becoming more and more rare. Very, very difficult to find players like these anymore. You've got to cherish them, and Musiala is a player that gets you off your seat. And yesterday, he got a standing ovation from the fans inside of the stadium, scored the second goal of the game in brilliant fashion and people are immediately asking inevitably is there any way at all Barca could sign this guy well right now what we do know with Musiala it's interesting because his contract expires at Bayern in 2026 now that's not all that far away because right now there's no sign at all of the contract renewal no real talks going on between them and if there is no renewal by next summer 2025 well that's going to be interesting because then he's going to be entering the final year of that deal and this is a guy right now who's only 21 years old he's got a massive future ahead of him in the game and there would definitely be interest from Barca if we are saying here that next summer we can spend big we have the ability there to make a big signing well Musiala he would absolutely be of interest to Barca and I'm sure every other top club around the world he is one to keep an eye on and he is one to watch even if we can't get him he is still an absolute joy to watch but it's not only him because we also must talk about another player here that has been linked very, very frequently to Barca, and that is Florian Wirtz, who was another really impressive performer last night, and he's a player, like I say, that Barca have been tracking for such a long time now. I'm talking about year upon year upon 
year, even before his ACL injury in 2022, ever since he's broken through there and exploded onto the scene at Leverkusen, and he's still, again, only 21 years old here. Germany have some really exciting young forwards, fantastic players coming through, and I think Wurz, he's maturing into such a good all-round player. He's coming a fantastic season already at Leverkusen. He's already off the mark at the Euro, scoring a really good opening goal there for them, and it won't be the last goal that he scores in this tournament. He really has a knack there of being in the right place at the right time and linking everything together nicely. And I think certainly one of the most interesting things here about Wurz is, particularly if he stays put here at Leverkusen for at least another year, that brings Barca more and more into this conversation because we have heard from him in the past there that when he was growing up, what's the team that he loved to watch? It was Barca, the player that he absolutely admired and adored. That was Lionel Messi. And he has even said in the past that he dreamt of playing for Barca. And that is something that he would still love to achieve. So certainly there, there's links, real genuine ones to Florian Wirtz. Lots of admirers as well for Jamal Musiala. And I'm just wondering here, guys, you know, hypothetically looking towards 2025 and beyond, if you could only sign one of those players to Barca, Florian Wirtz or Musiala, which one would you choose? Or, and I'll give you this option as well, would you say no to either of them? Do let me know, guys, in the comments down below here today. Let's have some fun during the Summer International Tournament. I hope as many of you guys as possible can join me there on the group chat. Should be a really exciting atmosphere, and I will catch you all here very soon indeed, guys. Thank you, as always, for your support, for tuning in here today. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Uh -huh.